Incoming transmission standby, welcome to the Nod News Network. The decision ends a lengthy legal struggle fought by former YPF investors supported by the biggest litigation finance company in the world. Former YPF shareholders who were supported by Burford Capital were awarded $16 billion by a U.S. federal judge in their lawsuit against the Argentinian government. The Argentine government lost the legal battle over its 2012 acquisition of a majority stake in the oil and gas company, and has been forced to pay $8.4 billion in damages and $7.6 billion in interest to two former YPF investors, Peterson and Eaton Park. Shortly after the verdict was announced on Friday, shares of Burford Capital, a litigation finance behemoth that mostly funded the plaintiff's claims, jumped 28% in U.S. trading. In a statement, the Argentinian government described the decision as unprecedented and erroneous and said it would appeal. This case over the rights of former shareholders of an Argentine company under the Argentine company's bylaws does not belong in a U.S. court, the statement claims. In 2012, Buenos Aires took over 51% of YPF after accusing Repsol S.A., the dominant shareholder and a Spanish business, of failing to devote enough resources to oil production. The parties came to a deal in 2014, and the Spanish company was given $5 billion in compensation. After the nationalization, Burford Capital acquired the shuttered businesses that had held 25% of the shares of YPF. Argentine government spokesperson Gabriela Ceruti wrote on X, formerly Twitter, that we will continue to defend energy sovereignty and our state company YPF against vulture funds. This has been the Nod News Network, transmission complete.